Maintaining permission sets using Easy Security Lite adds a lot of features. One thing is you can copy permissions from one or more permission sets into a single one, basically merging them or completely replacing permissions. You can also add related permissions based on table relations. You can export imports with an import worksheet that works very similar to an FOB that makes it easy to move from one database to another or from an ISV to deliver permissions to a customer. And then we can restore permissions from a snapshot also back to an earlier uh, state of how the permission looks. But let's take a look at this one. So if I go to the Easy Security Lite, I can look at all the permission sets in here. The first thing I want to show here is how we can copy permission sets from multiple roles into a single one in here. So if I wanted to create a role that was um, sales and receivable, I could have all these roles into a single one. So we can do that one by copy permission sets um, into a new role. So the first thing I want to do is create a uh, sales receivable all role in here. And then I want to copy permission sets from all uh, sales receivable roles. I can add merge or I can completely replace in here. In this case, I just want to put it all together. And I want any role that is uh, having an S and R and then an asterisk in here. Um, so any role that is called something with S and uh, R in here. I could select individual object types or object ID. I actually just want to include all of them in here. So this one now runs combine all the roles and I could see 298 of them were modified because yeah they were added first but then there were added more permissions to it later on. So this one allow an easy way of actually combining uh, all these roles into a single one at that point. When you maintain roles you really don't want to have these necessarily very big roles that actually uh, contains everything in here. I can see my sales receivable role down here that I created. Um, you actually want to maintain them as the smaller roles in here. Another thing you can do is create roles that are actually matching or using the table relations in here. So if I wanted to go in and create another one in here, so I would just have a customer um, edit role in here. I could go down here and add a single table like my customer table, for example, having read, insert, modify, and delete permission, and I'm going to get rid of the execute up there. We have a function here to add related permission. This one will go out, look at um, information in NAV, and it will figure out that if I need to insert to the customer table, I need access to look up to all these places. And that's a very nice feature to actually both improve on existing permissions but actually also to build new roles like that one. It gave me permissions to all the lookups in here. This one is limited compared to the full version of Easy Security, where we would actually also know about complex relations and we know about flow fields and things like that one in here. But it allows a very easy way of fixing it for um, other permissions based on relations in here. With Easy Security Lite, there also is an ability to actually import and export roles in here. And if I wanted to send these roles, maybe because I as a partner have modified them, or that I had a test environment, I can actually go export these ones to a text file. And I can just put in... This one is the SNR permission sets. And I can go add them um, on this PC, my temp folder, and um, export them to a text file in here. One thing that is really important, I run the service tier here on my same computer. You would normally need to do this to a file share where the service tier actually have access. I can use my local computer because I'm actually running the service here directly on this computer. If I now wanted to do some changes in here, I could, for example, go into these ones and say, I want to completely delete these roles, 
or permission sets. And I could go into this one and go down and say, I'm just going to delete some of um, the lines down here also. So this one would kind of be somebody that had an older version of these permission sets maybe. And I want to import my permission sets. And the first thing is you need to open the file in here and I'll go look at the file in my temp folder, the S and R roles in here. Again, this one needs to be a folder the service tier can see. Typically, you need to put this one on a network location starting with two backslashes or UNC pass. But I'll go here and open up these ones. And I can go in and see it had 10 permission sets in it. And it now brings up something that looks very similar to an import worksheet for objects in here. You see the name. I can see how many permissions exist in my database. And I can see how many is in the import and so on out here. I can see in this case, I have a role where it actually suggests that I will merge them. And I can see I have six new permissions in here. Um, that actually is the one that is being imported in here. This one is interesting. I get that one in here. Um, but in this case, I would merge them in here. If I look at the other options, I can actually also skip them. I can replace them completely, substitute with the one coming in, or I can only add the new permissions. If it was coming up equal like some of these is, it's the same as skipping actually. But let's go ahead and say on this one up here, I actually don't want to import it. I just want to skip this role for now in here. Then I want to select all of them and process the selected lines. Only the line selected is going to be processed. Everything else is basically going to be cleaned out after this one. Creates a snapshot before it changes anything. And it added two permission set and modified one in here. And then it blanks it out. If I wanted to go import my file again, there was of course one role in here that I completely skipped. And it now shows up with create in here. And if I just want to go ahead and say, yep, only do those uh, three down here. It creates another snapshot for me. And I have one per se permission set created and two skipped in here. And it blanks out again. So this one allows very easily to move between the different databases, but also move from a partner or an ISV into a customer's database and merge all the permissions together in here. The last feature I want to look at is actually rolling back these permission sets, because if I look at the snapshots now, I had some created automatically in here. And I can see one of the snapshots only contained 92 permissions in here. And I can actually go and restore my permission set to only have those 92 in here. And I can see my live permissions now have those ones. Can, of course, also go and restore them back to the original one in here. But that's an easy way of remembering that one in here, that you can go back, roll back to the permissions, how they were before using the snapshots in here. But that's the features for dealing with roles in here. We can also record, but that will be part of a session by itself in here. We can copy permission from one to another. As you get into one, we can go down and add related permissions based on the one you already have in here that can take care of many customizations that way. And then we have an import export worksheet and a way to roll back using the snapshots in here.